it, eh? Dirty old dicking around with the golf cart bills up here, eh? Freaking right it is. Well, boys and girls, I've been looking at the front end. The front end's a little loose, it is. Took off the other side, grease got the bearings. The bearings got a little bit of play in it. The actual hub is worn, eh? It's a 79, what do you expect? And the bottom bushing is wore on the old doodad. Hey, so there's no way of fixing this without replacing lower control arms and they're hard to find and this and that. So I'm just gonna shim them up, give them a little lube and they should be good to go for another 20 miles. Hey? All right, they should. So first thing you wanna do is, if you can even freaking see me, probably not. Boys, all right, let's move you here so you can see what's really going on. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna remove this pin down here, boys. Hey, there's a little cotter McPinnage. Hey, little cotter McPinnage, boys. Right, right there is. So, you gotta straighten this up. Now this thing's been, I don't think it's ever been off, boys, because she's just an absolute mess down here, she is. I am gonna put rims and tires on this bitch, but uh, I'm not gonna replace anything until I do that, because I wanna get her running first, eh? Don't wanna put too much money into her if I can't get her running, boys. I know I can get it running, boys. I'd rather fix this kind of stuff after it's running, hey? But I like to just double check things and make sure we can get her done, son. Friggin' right we can. So I gotta try to get this pin out. It's been in here since 1979, boys. Hey, friggin' right it has. You can tell. Holy, can you see what's going on? Probably not. It's coming, boys. She's coming, slowly but surely. Friggin' right it is. Holy, get out of there, you son of a beaver. Inchworm. And it's hotter than dicks out today. Freaking right, it's hotter than dicks out today. Holy. Oh, she's coming. All right, there's a pin, boys. There she is, a eh? little cotter, big pinage. So first thing you want to do is get the right size doodad on there, which is that one. Put the old 300 plus freaking impact gun on her and zero off. There she is, boys. Nothing like a good old impact gun. So after you get that off, you want to put her back on, you do. And you put her back on so you don't wreck the old thread of rooskies. Get her on quite a bit there. <laughs> just until you can feel the doodad. So you don't <laughs> wreck the old shaft. So now we're gonna give her a few wacky dudes. There she is, boys. So I'm gonna zing that back off. And we'll give the old pin a twist job. Just walk her out, boys. Try to. Why wouldn't I? Oh, boys, she ain't walking out too good. A few more taps, maybe. With no nut on it, why wouldn't I? There we go. Give her a wiggle, and she should come sooner or later. Probably later than sooner. There we go, boys. Whew. So as you can see, even the pin's got some wear on her. See that lip on the pin? I was gonna weld her up there and smooth her back down, but I'll get some new pins down the road, boys. Like I said, once I get her running. But for now, we'll pull this off like so. Like so. There's a little shim in there that's just damn near wore right out. So we'll get rid of that. We'll give her a quick clean off with mom's dish towel. Friggin' right we will. Why wouldn't we? Like so. And now as you can see, there's bushings. So these bushings, they might be interchangeable, but I haven't got any right now. So I'm not worried about it right now. So let's just get her somewhat tightened up for now. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna grab the box of washers, like so. You're gonna look for a, not a super friggin' thick washer, boys. Just a medium thick washer. I have one right there. Boys. You want to make sure this goes through it. No good. Hey, no goody. Let me see what I got in my rusty old bucket of washers. No go, boys. No go, boys. Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta look elsewhere. I do. Pretty much ready to do. Uh, oh, uh, careful. Where in the f all my fucking washers? That one. So there we go. There's a washer there. It's got a little bit of yellow paint on it. That's for fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back on now. And we're gonna try to put a washer in there, boys. This one might be still too thick, it might. Oh, no, there she goes. Decent. All right, friggin' right we did. So we'll tap that in. And we'll put the, we'll get that lined up like so. Beautiful. And now we'll grease her up, boys, because I haven't got a grease gun on me, I don't. Frig, why would I have a grease gun? There we go. So now we'll tap that back through. Once we get that washer lined up, boys. Washer's still not lined up, it's not. Boys, girls, peoples. There we go. Push that down. Decent. Put the old Mataruski back on. Maybe, maybe. We didn't talk the threads over. There she is. And we'll put the old nut on. Like so. So, as you can see, the top part spins, it does. So there's a hole in the shaft of Ruski that you can put a little doodad screwdriver through her, right? Eh? Just to hold her so you can give her a crank. 
Now I'm cranking the hell out of this thing, boys. I'm trying to get her tight to the shaft, I am. But yet, yeah, still movable. Okay, you wanna make sure it's still movable, boys. But look at the difference in that already. Big time, eh? So if you ever wanna cheat on the old golf cart, you don't wanna spend any money, take her apart, put some washers in her, and give her one of these. Right there. Hey, eh? Give her one of them, boys. I like it. Friggin' right. So now we gotta put the old cotter edge pinage back in as I'm sweating like a whore in heat. Sweating like a whore in heat. Where's a hole, Jim? Jim. Where's a fucking hole, Jim? Where is a fucking hole? Oh, well, there she is. She's on the side, she is. We moved her, we did. So tap that back in like so, and try to straighten her out so we can actually hit the goddamn thing. There we go. Bend the old tabarooskis back. If you can find them, you can find one, Jim. There it is. Bend them back like so. And we're good to go. Bend that back like so, and we're good to go. Boys, peoples. So we'll slap the old tire back on, and we'll give her a wiggle wobble, and see. Me? Should put some grease in there too, but that one feels good. The other side wore out, boys. Need some bearing on the other side, we do. Next, I gotta check the back brakes, boys, because they're a little stiff, they are. When I put my 1000 R1 in here, I wanna make sure she's gonna stop, eh, boys? We're getting right at you. <laughs> Careful. There's one. Next. Hey, next. There we go, boys. Look at that. 100% better. She had one hell of a wobble before, I should have showed you. But she is friggin' golden, boys. So let's drop her and see what happens, eh? Let's drop her and see if she hasn't got more stability, hey? Good old stability, boys. Plop. Hey, plop. She's down, she is. Oh, yeah, that's much better. That's pretty nice, much better. Decent. A little play in the steering. Actually, you can adjust that, too. I'm pretty sure we can adjust that by there, boys. Let's try that. Why wouldn't we? See if I'm right or wrong. Oh boy. Do we have to loosen that first, do we? Let's get the biggest thing I can find on here. So there's a nut on there, there is. So just turn the nut back and then turn the old screw down. Oh, we gotta get the nut free, boys. So let's take this over here and give her a little freeness. Give her a little freeness. So once you have the freeness done, take that or the nut near the end, stick her in and we'll snug her up, boys, till we feel some pressure. So there it is there. There she is, boys. So if anyone has a golf cart and they have a little wig nut and whatnot on their doodad, that's what that's for, boys. To snug the steering down, eh? Hey? There we go. Actually, should give her a little tiny bit more, boys. Wow, what a big difference that made, eh? So if anybody wants to know how to adjust the steering looseness in the gearbox, that's how you do it. And I'm sweating like a pig, boys, so I gotta take a freaking break. But anyways, thanks for joining me here on this episode of Fix Up the Old Golf Cart, boys. Hey, freaking right. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button. And uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you think, eh? Freaking right, you should. But uh, maybe later on we'll spin around and take the back wheels off and check out the old breaker rooskies. That's what I'm thinking, boys. We're getting somewhere we are, slowly but surely. I want to try to get the body painted before winter gets here. Because I can't paint outside. Frig, no, I can't. The way we're rolling along here, I should be able to get the undercarriage. i got to jack her up and paint the bottom of the frame. But I uh, should be able to get rolling along. Anyways, hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now. <laughs> <laughs>